How did the building go during the week? Did you manage to have that conversation with your children? Were they surprised that you'd ever been frightened of anything? Because it's often our kids look at us and they think, we're never afraid. We never need courage, but the reality is that we know we need to have courage nearly every single day. We've been talking this week about Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and how they needed courage to do what is right. We need courage in the little things as well as the big things. Let's not fall into the mistake of thinking that it's only the children that need to have courage. Think about your life this week. Where have you shown courage? Where have you been so afraid that you didn't show courage? Sometimes our kids think that we, we need to make the big step. One week you're afraid, the next week you're courageous. You and I know that's not going to happen. It's small steps. It's putting your faith in just the little things, setting the small goals. So with the things your kids talked about this week, about being afraid, maybe you could work with them and go, how can we show courage? The focus being on being courageous rather than afraid this week. You could break it down into little tiny steps. Just remember, the kids are just like you. They like to get it right. They like to win. We know that it's not always step after step moving forward, that we do take steps backwards. The key here is having the conversation with your children so that they understand that some days it's a win and some days you just know there's another day and you can have another crack at it. That's what it means to build courage into the lives of our kids. It's a day by day, experience by experience, learning and learning. You see, when we will share that with them and we'll share our journey with them, they realise it's not just a kid thing. It is everybody that needs to show courage. That's why we're told in Psalms that God is with us and that we can call out to him whenever we want to. Just like we learned about David last week when he killed Goliath, showing great courage. That courage wasn't just on the spur of the moment. That was built over a long period of time. Lots of experience. And he had the faith to believe that God could allow him to do what he needed to do. For your kids, building courage into them is a day-by-day -day experience. Talk about it, live it out, share it, encourage one another to be courageous. Because remember, courage is doing what you should do, even when you're afraid.